when you're gone. Ain't no sunshine. Hello there, Valerie Rose. Hello. How are you? Welcome Hello, back to Ireland. Thank you. Yeah, and this is your lovely sister, Gillian. That's right, that's Gillian. Uh, Valerie, how long ago was it since you were Miss Ireland? Um, eight years ago. How long um, was it? About 81, 82. Really, yeah. yeah. And did that, was that? If I remember rightly, the Doolies put up with an awful lot of stick. Like they got a lot of abuse, didn't they, for people like Des O'Connors and all those fellas on, on various shows? They certainly they? did, yes. Yeah. And did that ever bother you? Um, no, not really. There's always jokes made about the name. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course, get you by the Doolies <laughs> yeah. and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Very one, yeah. yeah. Now, you've decided to come back to Ireland and leave it all behind you. Well, in one way, yes. I'm going to give it about six months. I've been um, in Britain, as I said, for the last quite a few years, and I want to try and get into presenting over here, television presenting, or TV preferably. Preferably, preferably yeah. Yes. And what were you doing? Uh, in, in, you were working a little bit in television, weren't you? Yes, I was working for a few different production companies in Manchester, doing sort of educational programmes, all sorts. We promoted Manchester's Cathedral, um, discovering a Roman fortlet in Castle Shaw, lots of different bits and pieces. So I'd love to get into a music programme or a children's programme if possible. Yeah. And in the meantime, you're working away down the nightclub with your sister Bernie, I am, Bernie, in Bronze you? nightclubs, up and down, have a few jobs. Yeah. And did, did your time on the road with the Dooleys now in places like, was the Middle East very tricky when it came to men, was it? <laughs> what do you mean, by Well, I mean, uh, you, you know, they like blonde women going they out do. there. Plenty of offers of uh, diamond rings and really? money and all sorts. Yeah, I could be there in the lap of luxury now. Here I am sitting here. And you turned it down, I didn't turned you? it down. Sorry, how brave you are. I know. Oh. I know. Now, what about, I, I, I know I'm raking up the old the old calls here, but you were married to, to uh, Mick O'Hagan, who's a brother of John Logan at, at, at one stage. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yes, you were for a couple of years, were you? Uh, yes. Past and history, all that. Past history, yes. You don't even talk about it now. No. And would you get married again? Of course I would. The right man came along, I'd be there. Yeah? Of course. And how does Mum feel about all this? Does she keep a weather eye on you now? I mean... She does, all the time, Gillian included. Yeah? They're at the watch, 12 o'clock. <laughs> That's it. And, and did all that experience with all those men all over the world, did that give you a good, good ground for dealing with them in nightclubs as well? Of course it, it did. <laughs> <laughs> so you handled it very well. And indeed, I think so anyway. Yeah, and what about any singing? Are you going to sing a bit? Um, possibly. We're doing record and recording at the moment. Look at the poor little schmuzgly.